story about what happened earlier in the day. He goes, oh yeah, Linda comes in here uh, you know, quite a bit. <laughs> Let me put you on hold to get your information. I'm going to be calling you personally later today to try to line something up for tomorrow, okay? I'll let you do that, man. I'll talk to do that. Tom, hold on, buddy, okay? I'll tell you what, man. What? That'd be interesting. <laughs> oh, yes, it would. Absolutely. Uh, Oberman last night. Let's get back to what I talked about earlier before Lisa Lampanelli called. Uh, and that is this, uh, what has now been affectionately known as the uh, Enron loophole, right, Brent? That's correct. And Oberman really, man, took about eight minutes and, and, and uh, eight eight minutes and some seconds last night, and really, really kind of redacted it on down and gave you the crux of it all. And it's wonderful. I mean, any anybody, even my dumbass, can understand it. We can all understand it. It's really, really interesting. And it, and you know what? Why they don't have emergency hearings? You know, our Congress will have emergency hearings and wake up the president in the uh, in the middle of the night to have a fucking. Uh, 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 um, uh, an emergency hearing about Terry Schiavo's food tube being pulled. Yeah. But we're not having emergency hearings about the oil industry and the future and the commodity exchange, uh, exchange you know, people, uh, uh, tra traders making billions of dollars and by some accounts up to 50% of the uh, of the of the increase of, of oil has been gouged uh, by these assholes. Oberman really, really broke it on down last night. Our third story tonight, a countdown special report on the price of gas. Now, McCain's chief economic advisor, among others, helped create and defend pivotal legislation that unleashed speculators to run up gas prices. It is, in essence, a legalized form of insider trading, deregulation that lets speculators overwhelm trading in oil futures, those complicated contracts that let commercial users of oil hedge their bets about future price and supply fluctuations by agreeing to prices and delivery dates ahead of time. Since this legislation passed, gasoline prices have more than doubled, and commodity traders have made tens of millions of dollars, devastating thousands of small companies that deal in oil and creating the risk of a speculative bubble popping. How does McCain fit in? The road connecting him to four.